assassin. As always, very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to go to bat. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. The Assassin, looking for another UFC win. Frankie Sign. Coming off a great training camp, here he is making his way out of the tunnel, and he is ready to fight. This next guy has incredible takedowns. Both timing, speed, and of course, technique are literally top of the food chain. Side. Ready to go to bat here at Madison Square Garden. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Signs is 16 years his elder. He will have a one inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the Great Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds. The Assassin! And now introducing the blue corner, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Frankie Sides! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And our referee is Mario Yamasaki. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's Here we go. go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for the assassin. Black trunks for Sides. Been very impressive in his last few fights, and tonight he fights on the main card for the very first time. He's excited about this opportunity. He knows his career is pointed in the right direction. Good job of timing strikes here, and there's a nice straight by sign. Man, that jab's really effective here. The assassin with a big leg kick. Caught him with a punch. Swinging early, both men. In the clinch. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Good defense against the hammer fit. Side control. Nicely done. That connected. And it's all over! And it's all standing! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Once again, here's our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. Let's see it again. And...
Today, let's focus on completing submissions. Good job. He's not just gonna give it to you, keep on working. Good job, keep finishing. That's it. All right, dig back in, pummel back in. Finish strong now, 10 seconds. That's it, let's lock that out. Come on now, squeeze. Nice job today. You gotta clean up a few areas, but I really like what I saw. Jermaine Sterling, pumped up, very confident, and ready to battle in the octagon. This guy has some of the best takedowns in MMA, Mike. He's a great pure wrestler and is also very effective at setting the takedowns up with his other skills. He can use the threat of them to create openings on the feet or put this fight on the mat and control it from there. Jermaine Sterling is ready to go to battle inside the octagon. Frankie side looking very confident as he makes his way out to the octagon. He is ready to go. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. Ricky Sainz set to fight Al Jermaine Sterling. Tail of the take for this bantamweight fight. Sterling is 29. Zines is 39. Sterling is one inch taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Al Jermaine Punk Master Sterling! And now he is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Frankie Sainz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee. Ready Mike fight. Goldberg alongside Ready. Joe Rogan. We are set Ready. to get things started. Three round fight. White trunks with Sterling. Black trunks with Sterling. Joe, this is a tough fight for him. In fact, you can argue that this is the toughest fight of his professional career. He realizes, though, if he's able to get a win tonight, he will move up in the rankings. But, man, he's going to be challenged. Back up to his feet. Punishing roundhouse kick. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. He tags him with the left. Looks for that front kick. Missed it. Now they're turning it up. 
Sterling gets caught by the inside leg kick. Stuffed it. Stuffed it. Keep the pressure on him. Half guard, full mount. What a huge right hand. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Powerful left hand. Oh, big right hand. Beautiful right hand. Trying to finish it right here. He's taking some brutal ground and pound hands. Oh, he's hurt. That's it. That's it. The fight is over. Big shots landed, and he gets the TKO early in the first round. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And here we see it from another camera angle. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has thumbs up in this contest at 1 minute, 11 seconds of the very first round. He played the winner by TKO, Frank D. Freaky Sign by TKO. Let's have some fun with submissions today. Easy. Come on out. Let's see what else he gives you. Good work. Good job. There we go. Lock it in. Beautiful. Pretty strong now. Ten seconds. That's it. That's it. Here we go. We got five seconds. Finish that. Beautiful work, man. Those submissions are on point. It's a bantamweight matchup between Chris Holdsworth and Frankie Sides. Frankie Sides looking very confident as he makes his way out to the octagon. He is ready to go. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Frankie Sainz enters the 
Octagon. Chris Holdsworth, as always, very well prepared and extremely focused and ready to go to battle. This guy has nasty chokes. His ability to cinch up a choke and finish it from any position is truly elite. Chris Holdsworth, set to fight Frankie Sign. Our tail of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Signs is eight years his elder. Holdsworth is five inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Frankie Sons! And now, if you see the moment, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of. Nine wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Chris holds it down. Holds it And when the action begins, our referee in charge of Mario Yamasaki. And our referee is Mario Yamasaki. Mike Goldberg, Let my partner is always Joe on. Rogan. And we are set to get things started. Three round fight. White trunks for Sam. Black trunks for Holtz. Joey has worked his way up the ladder and tonight faces the most difficult test of his mixed martial arts career. He said he wants to get wow, that look at that down, man. Nice sweep. Full guard here. First back. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. He lands a huge hand. left. Oh, some heavy shots from the top. He has a hard shot with left. the left. Unbelievable! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Time now for our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. Let's see this again. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom! Out cold. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 54 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Frankie Sands! Frankie Sands, winner by knockout.
next. It's a bantamweight matchup between Eric Perez and Frankie Sides. Frankie Sides. Ready to go to battle once again inside the octagon. This guy has an amazing ability to control fighters from the top position. Once he gets there, that is where the fight will remain. Frankie Sun enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Makes his way out of the tunnel, and he looks ready to go. He's a fighter known for his heart, Mike. There is absolutely no quit in this man. We've seen him take crazy amounts of damage and still keep coming. This is a guy who will not stop until the final bell. A great competitor. Inside Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight battle. Signs is nine years his elder. Perez is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Mixed martial artist on a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Frankie Sides! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out the red corner. A mixed martial artist on a professional record of 21 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Eric Goyita Perez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavinar. Eve Lavinar, referee. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! And here we go! Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for sign. Black trunks for Perez. Joe why he looks to evolve in all facets of mixed martial arts. For this camp, it, oh, he's taking some punishment here early, Joe. Boom! Big up the top. There he is. Got the takedown. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. He scores with a huge left. Paired him with the right hand. hand. Half guard. Sainz got the full mount again. He hip escapes from the full mount. He's back to full mount again. Now he gets the full mount again. He postures into place. Nice ground and pound by Sainz. Oh, that's a good, good shot. shot right there. Oh, he's Very that's good it. shot. That's it. The fight is over. TKO early in the first round. Big shots landed. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again, ground and pound for the TKO finish. And here we go with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds in the very first round. 
declared the winner by TKO, Frankie Sands. Frankie Sands earns the victory by TKO. Let's work on your defense. Use those blocks, the parries, the slips, everything we've done in training. Don't let this guy touch you. Nice. Keep bouncing. Don't let him hit you. See everything, that's it. Track his hands. Get that chin down, there we go, keep going. Perfect job. Last 10. But I can't touch you. Come on, duck under those. Stay out of the way, let's move. That's it, good form, on your toes. All right, buddy, good work today. Couple things we're gonna fix, but don't worry about it. Shot. Come on, let's get this. Very impressed with you today. Good job. Opportunity to leave a UFC champion. In fact, tonight is the first championship fight of his professional career. He says he is focused on one thing and only one thing, leaving with a UFC belt. This is his first world championship fight, a tremendous moment in his career. This is what he has been working for his entire UFC career, and there is an amazing amount of pressure on him at this moment. Frankie Sign enters the octagon with his mind set on just one thing tonight, winning the UFC championship. Born and raised in San Diego, California, Dominic Cruz, the first ever UFC bantamweight champion, 
is one of the most versatile fighters to ever enter the octagon. Very elusive, yet highly effective. His footwork is as good as anyone to ever go to battle, and he puts it on display every time he fights in the UFC. Dominic Cruz, in becoming the champion at 135 pounds, had to face some of the most technical fighters in the UFC. The lighter weight classes traditionally have relied much more on technique, and Dominic is the king of the technical fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he was there. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want that stuff, do it now. Go back to your corner. It's the battle that we've been talking about for a long, long time. And it's about to begin. Ready? You ready? Here we go! Remember, title fight, five five-minute rounds. White trunks for Sam. Black trunks for the champion. Joey's made it quite simple, and he has talked about it. Oh! Something. He's out. He's out cold. And it is all over. Dominic Cruz, the victor. Wow. What a statement that man just made. Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. And here we see the KO that retains his title. Brutal power, lands in picture-perfect fashion. His opponent goes limp, and he retains his world title. Here it is one more time. Boom! Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. Dominic Cruz remains the UFC bantamweight champion.